Good afternoon, friends. Happy Friday. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and tonight my husband's going to grill some hamburger patties, and I am going to fry up some potatoes. We have to get these little potatoes eaten that we got at Sam's Club a couple weeks ago. So I'm just going to get these cubed up and in the frying pan. And then I'm going to season them up. And when they're close to being done, I'm going to add some onion. I'm going to add salt, pepper, I'm going to let this fry for a while. Okay, the potatoes are getting a good head start. So my husband is out there heating up the grill. And these are the Angus beef patties. They have cheddar and bacon in them already. I thought I would put some of this gourmet burger seasoning on here. It's been a while since I used this. Sprinkle some of this on. Now I'm going to dice up some onion. And I'm going to run it under cold water. I've noticed doing that keeps me from tearing up. I'll get some of this diced up. I'm going to wait a little bit yet before I add this to the pan because I don't want these onions to burn. So, I will bring you back when we build our burger. Okay friends, my husband just brought in the burgers and the potatoes are done. So now we'll build our burger. Oh, they smell so good. I love grilled burgers. Oh, some mayonnaise. Okay, mustard. Ketchup. And we'll put a slice of tomato and a leaf of lettuce. This is the end of our romaine lettuce. Got that used up before it went bad.
good old fashioned burger and some fried potatoes and I did put them onions in here have a bowl of my refrigerated pickles. I forgot these were in the fridge downstairs, so we're going to start on them again. Grilled burger, fried potatoes, and homemade refrigerated pickles. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Saturday. Tonight for dinner, I am making pulled pork king ranch casserole. I need to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. In this pan, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil to grease it up. Set that aside. And now here, I need a can of cream of chicken soup. to a medium low and then I need a 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes. I'm not going to drain it. And then I need a half a cup of cheese whiz, but I am going to use salsa con queso because that's what I have. I'm going to go heavy on that half a cup. a half a tablespoon of onion flakes. And a half a teaspoon of sriracha. W sauce. And I'm going to let this heat up.
And now I have I have about three quarters of a pound of a pork roast that I had in the crock pot. And it's already cooled down. And I'm going to just dice it up. Oh, this is nice and tender. It calls for shredding it, but we don't care for the shredded texture. So I'm just going to dice it. Okay, here I have approximately six ounces of tortilla chips that I have crushed. half of them on the bottom. And I'm going to put pork on them. Okay, everything is looking melted together. So now I'm going to Put half of this mixture over the pork. And then I'm going to put some cheddar cheese. And I'm going to dice up the rest of this roast. So I'll sprinkle the rest of these on. I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce over it. Now, some more cheddar cheese. shredded mozzarella and now this is going to bake uncovered for 35 to 45 minutes so I will bring you back when we plate up Okay, friends, our King Ranch pork casserole is done. It was in for 30 minutes. Nice and hot and bubbly. I will get some of this plated up. I've made this recipe before, but with the different way I made it. I'll come back and let you know if we liked it.
and we're going to have another bowl of my refrigerated pickles. There's that. And King Ranch pulled pork casserole. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, friends, I just wanted to report back to you on what we thought of this pulled pork King Ranch casserole. It was good but it is definitely better with the cheese Whiz. I used a medium con queso and that really gave it a kick. So, cheese Whiz is definite, definitely better in here, but I will leave the recipe link for you below in the description box. It is good. I recommend it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, friends. Happy Sunday. Tonight, my husband is going to grill us up these steaks. And I'm going to get a pot of potatoes boiling. So I can mash those. And for the steaks, all I'm going to do is put salt and pepper on them. And then when they get close to being done, I'm going to have him baste them with our Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Just simple. And then I have our marinated cabbage and sweet pepper slaw in the fridge that I made up yesterday. So I will bring you back when we plate up. Okay friends, my husband just brought in the steaks. I am only going to take half of one. Let's see where that gets me. And we have our marinated cabbage and sweet pepper slaw that I made yesterday. That video was posted yesterday if you want to check it out. And then our mashed potatoes. I just mashed them with some butter and milk and added some cheddar cheese to it because I had it in the fridge it needed to get used. So I put it on the potatoes. And then put a dollop of sour cream on there. And there you have it. That is our dinner tonight. Mashed potatoes with cheddar cheese, marinated cabbage and sweet pepper slaw, and grilled steaks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.